Hi everyone, uh, Fatsum Muhammad Shah with you. Um, uh, today our subject is about uh, solar steer with um, uh, the operation of uh, flat plate solar collector and uh, combined with uh, PCM storage. Uh, we did this uh, video before, but today we are going to talk about uh, version 2, it's dynamic modes. Uh, with, with respect to time and the time domains so we have manual uh, um, controlling of your uh, model and we have um, uh, automatic controlling so let's go for uh, uh, manual controlling first um, open your model first you have to specify your uh, uh, working folder from here MATLAB pass okay, it's from here and sort by name and group by type and double clicking and uh, you will find your model uh, should be appear like this. Uh, we can run, uh, run our model in, uh, in dynamic mode or in single point. So if we uh, check here, we can check here in, in zero time domain if you would like to run it in zero time domain. Okay, and you can. Uh, um, Control your uh, model uh, by yourself by your uh, increasing or decreasing your uh, parameters or whatever. Okay, and uh, suppose I need to go in, in uh, finite mo infinity or within a, a specific time limitation, 24 hours, whatever, and saving. Okay, so I will run my model and uh, let's go here and uh, be sure that. Uh, your signals uh, uh, be uh, transferred to the uh, data inspector so you have to for example i need to discover uh, the changes on uh, outlet collector temperature outlet flap collector temperature so i will i have to name this stream so i will type here double clicking and type t collector outlet estimated it's in degrees Celsius. and please don't uh, uh, put semicolon or colon on, on the uh, stream uh, and you just click here and select the uh, stream to the uh, data inspector or you can click on the stream and go in here and stream selected to data inspector so you realize this is a small uh, square so your signal uh, will appear in your, in your data inspector so I will try to run my model and uh, make some changes and analyze uh, whatever so I, I, I have to go to the uh, uh, sub blocks and double clicking uh, so here I will I will change for example solar radiation or whatever and see the effect on uh, uh, my results okay so I, I can go here okay and let's see the effect on for example solar uh, still okay this is my solar still and I will saving and hit run and see whatever uh, what is going on okay let's hit run and open this menu okay these are our uh, um, outputs so suppose I, I, I will reduce solar field area as you can see reducing solar field area will uh, reduce um, temperature and reduce uh, productivity okay as you can see here and uh, suppose I need to uh, uh, increase the mass flow rate increasing mass flow rate will reduce also okay 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 uh, let's go and decrease solar radiation I will decrease solar radiation okay so I am controlling dynamically, uh, but it's manual. Just to click on your on your in this cursor and move with keyboards uh, right or left. So you are going to minimize or maximize, okay? And hit okay and stop running. Okay, let's go inside here, data inspector, and see the effect in within this uh, time range. As you can see here, these are our streams, so you can. Let's go for uh, mass flow rate. This is productivity decreasing with time. This is your time limitation. You can, you can uh, um, assign this. You can control your time limitation, and this is uh, your um, uh, outlet collector temperature. As you can see, decreasing with time because we decreased the area and we decreased uh, mass flow rate and we decreased uh, the solar uh, uh, the solar radiation input to the system. And the uh, mean blood temperature, uh, you can go for, uh, uh, this is your glass cover temperature, 
and the basin temperature. You can put in one uh, 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 figure, outlet temperature, uh, PCM temperature, and thermal uh, loads, um, convection, evaporation rate, uh, radiation, uh, um, and so on. So you, you can you can uh, discover uh, whatever you would like, and you can uh, you can uh, control how many figures you would like to send to the figure. For example, if this is your efficiency factor decreasing, as you can see, and you can click here, send you to a figure. You can send you to a figure in order to control or uh, control the. Uh, um, the properties of your lines and your outputs as you can see here so you can control and and do this okay i will remove all of this okay this uh, if you intended to control manually suppose I, I i i have another intention to or different intention to control this uh, automatically so i have to use signal builder so that the, the model is, is is quite interesting let's go for fill up you realize this outlet collector temperature mean plate temperature, plate temperature, uh, thermal losses through the collector, flappable collector, efficiency factor, full factor, heat removal factor, exergetic efficiency, and so on. This is for water, for sure. So uh, you can set your simulation time into zero, and you can control it at single point, always respect to time, so we can uh, uh, write here 24, okay this is 20, considering 24 seconds as a 24 hours so we can uh, uh, make your run and control uh, right or left within uh, controlling this um, parameter so you can control this parameter left or right it's up to you okay and you can realize uh, the effect on your uh, system at once so uh, suppose i need to go uh, this will be a zero time domain and saving and closing this one. Okay. Suppose I, I need to control this uh, at once. I, um, uh, I, I will not. I, I need to control solar radiation with the, uh, beside uh, 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 wind speed, beside operating hours. What is your effect? Okay. So, therefore, we need to add a signal builder. Uh, you have to refer to our previous videos about how to use signal build builders and how to uh, uh, construct your signals. So if you, so I, I go here and go into the sources and use signal builder. You can use all of this if you would like, but I, I'm not familiar with electrical controlling. Therefore, I, I, um, uh, or analogy between electrical and uh, uh, thermal signals. So I, I will use signal builder. You can drop here and double clicking your signal builder therefore i uh, i will control my model by adding uh, these are my examples you can add more and more mass flow rate you can add uh, uh, a temperature you can add uh, uh, some parameters if you would like so therefore uh, i i divided my time limitation uh, with respect to the 24 hours as you can see here Yes, it's in second, but I, the, the code is considering this hour, so there's no problem at all. And you can change this this caption if you'd like. So this is 24 hour. You can go in here, time range, you can select time range, and, and you can do this from here by clicking here and uh, for data configuration system. Therefore, this is my time, starting time at 1 and uh, ending time is uh, at 24 okay so i have uh, 24 hours therefore and these are my uh, solar radiation hour by hour so therefore uh, at hour one um, considering it at midnight there is no solar radiation and and therefore this is at uh, six morning and uh, you can control this if you'd like for example uh, I can control uh, wind speed. Suppose it's at midnight. It was uh, a high rate of wind speed. Okay, I'm sorry. Okay, high rate of wind speed, as you can see here. And uh, it doesn't matter because uh, let's go for five uh, meter per second. Then as the wind speed has dropped. Uh, to uh, minimum values let's go here and 
Okay, so, so we can control the signal based on your average data per year or per month or per day, it's up to you. And now we are going down for uh, one speed. Okay, but nine. Okay, yeah, within range. Okay, and uh, this is operating hour. So at, at time one, uh, I need hour one, uh, time two is two and four is linear, increasing. Okay. And you can uh, save your uh, data, okay, save your signals. So these signals are going to go to control the, uh, the output. So you have to go here and control M or right click here on uh, uh, on uh, mask, okay, edit mask. And going to the signal build, to the uh, parameters. And uh, for uh, solar radiation, don't forget to uh, make it uh, um, remove, enable, and this and visible. You have to remove this because the controlling of your data is coming from outside. It's from signal builder, so there is no need for uh, controlling uh, uh, by yourself. So if you double click here, double clicking here, you will realize there is no uh, a solar radiation. There is no solar radiation. It, um, it probably uh, disappeared. Therefore, we have. And uh, uh, wind speed also. I, I remove wind speed and solar radiation, and the same for uh, 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 solar still. So going inside, you realize that we are controlling uh, solar radiation and wind speed, and the same for uh, solar still. There is no. Uh, I removed. I removed this. Uh, okay, as you can see here, I uh, there is solar radiation and wind speed. I terminated their signals. And operating hours, so there is no need for them. And um, okay, these are operating conditions. So operating conditions is uh, uh, signals is coming from. Uh, these are your inputs from signal builder to the solar still and uh, photo. Uh, I'm sorry for flap lip collector at once. Uh, setting your simulation time as we mentioned at uh, 24 hours. Let's go and realize our uh, uh, variation with respect to time based on your, surely your um, design aspect, what is your design, what is your mass flow rate. You can change this if you would like with the signal builder too, you can, and the area, you can. But I, I, I will fix this output, mass flow rate, I will fix this, and I will fix uh, solar area and Design uh, design parameters. I will fix all design parameters. Okay, uh, just simple case, and you can change it uh, and you can compare runs. Okay, let's go here. I will make two runs: one at uh, 30 uh, meter square meter and one at uh, uh, 40 square meters, and we will realize um, the difference. Also, you can controlling uh, if you would like to use cooling effect on the glass cover or not. So uh, as you can see here, I'm no, I'm going with no cooling, and the second run with uh, cooling. You can you can select between uh, uh, these parameters also. Uh, let's go here, and we are going to realize effect. Okay, just uh, for inspection. Okay, and we have to hit run here, and we we have to wait for our results. Uh, okay, be sure that all of your signals. Uh, have been sent to data inspector or as you can see here this is your runtime six morning seven morning uh, as you can see here eight uh, uh, okay maximum i'm surely 10 o'clock okay 10 morning 11 okay as you can see you realize the, the raising in uh, temperatures as you can see uh, flow rates this is cool, uh, collecting flow rate from your uh, uh, tray, PCM temperature changes, and zero means that there is no uh, sun, sun rays for these parameters, so there is no meaning to um, to collect your uh, uh, results here. Okay, and okay, time has finished. So if you double clicking here, this is your code for solar still, and this is your conditions. Uh, this is your condition. If solar radiation. Uh, uh, greater or equal to 400 it's up to you B but this is my uh, uh, condition because based on my uh, uh, experience 400 is quite normal for being 
uh, or going to produce for the shooter. Uh, it is from 400 up to 1000, okay? I don't know any place uh, going over 1000, maybe in Egypt or Mauritania. So uh, this is my, uh, you can change it, uh, change these conditions from here. It is from 400 and 1000, so you have to uh, run your, your condition. Let's go for data inspector and see. Okay, I'm going to inspect. Okay, this is our first run. Okay, this is uh, first run. You can discover whatever you would like. Bit efficiency, as you can see, uh, with respect to the time and solar radiation. Fin uh, um, efficiency, fin efficiency changing with respect to time. And um, we have flow factor also. And this is my collector efficiency. Okay, nearly constant. Collector irreversibility rate. Surge efficiency, okay, okay. Outlet temperature, outlet uh, temperature from the solar collector, okay. And we have here uh, mean bullet temperature. I'll put it here, okay. So we have mean bullet temperature and bullet temperature as well. And uh, useful energy fluctuating with respect to time. Uh, thermal power. This is your thermal power. Uh, this is this is your overall heat loss with respect to the time and this is your time this is your time limitation along the day okay and uh, this is a efficiency factor we can put the efficiency factor here nearly constant uh, okay and let's go for uh, glass glass cover temperature let's go for uh, glass cover temperature okay as you can see here, there is no glass cover temperature, no temperature uh, till uh, 400 uh, watt per meter squared, uh, as you can see here. And uh, uh, basin temperature, okay, outlet to the solar field temperature, fluctuating with time, PCM temperature, fluctuating with time. Let's, let's put, put um, outlet temperature here and uh, PCM temperature as well and uh, some radiation and convection and uh, so the glass cover to the ambient and some parameters i will choose one only one one is was one is enough uh, let's go for this one uh, radiation to the glass cover to the ambient and this is your productivity this is your productivity and uh, uh, pcm uh, thermal power reducing along the day okay reducing losing its uh, effect okay and uh, uh, water temperature okay so you can close this one and let's go and run again but a different operating condition suppose i'm going for uh, 35 degree f uh, 35 uh, area square meter and going for uh, uh, let's go for cooling effect, adding cooling effect. This was cooling, hit apply, and we're going to uh, realize our results. Okay, let's hit run again and see. Okay, uh, you can convert uh, between two runs. Okay, so you can realize the effect uh, on that inspector. And you have to wait this is uh, so at, at 10 o'clock nearly at 10 o'clock because it's uh, 400 watt per meter square nearly at 10 o'clock as you can see realize uh, temperature changes okay and the same for uh, flappulate solar collector the same changes occurred in uh, uh, on solar flappulate solar collector and you have to wait okay till 24 hours and let's see okay okay let's go here again and we have uh, run number two so we can we can compare our results you will find as uh, a previous result still here so you can uh, compare for example this is a uh, uh, plate temperature you can uh, realize the difference okay realize the difference and uh, let's go for outlet temperature okay nearly the same nearly 
thermal load, I think thermal load. Okay, different because we increase the area of the solar field. Overall heat uh, loss. Let's go and see. There is slightly changes, and uh, 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 yes, this is a, a kilogram. Uh, the collection of kilograms that we we have collected through the day, so um, there is slightly increasing in uh, kilogram because uh, the yield increasing in productivity because we increase the area and we increased uh, uh, the uh, this is the outlet uh, temperature, okay, and uh, there's some. Uh, a Q radiation through the glass cover. Yes, I think this one. Yes. Okay. A Q PCM. I think there is a slightly change. Okay. T water. Okay. So you can compare your runs and uh, you realize uh, uh, the change on um, uh, area or mass flow rate or or, or uh, your design parameters. Uh, finally, you can send uh, you can send this uh, uh, to the figure if you would like, and you can um, res with respect to the time. So I suppose I I will do this. You can. You can I'm sorry, I'm sorry. I have to go inside again. That is okay. And uh, let's go here. Okay. And suppose I need just two figures. Okay. For example, send it to a figure. Okay, and emphasize going to here uh, properties, and uh, you can control your uh, lines. You can control uh, everything you like. You can add uh, results from here. Okay, you can change background. You can select uh, a line. Okay, so select time line with uh, overall heat loss. We can increase. Uh, okay, going here from line. Okay, as you can see here. So um, you can control a uh, caption, and um, you can control caption. You can write here. It's time uh, for hours. Okay, you will realize this. Okay. Uh, finally, I would like to thank you very much for your interest in our model. Uh, don't forget to uh, like, share, uh, and uh, uh, subscribe. Uh, thank you very much.